Now then, here's Collado defending hard against the 99 Proton Porsche, Whoa. who's on the inside of him. And that's a great attacking move from Julian Andlauer. So going from being the one on the attack to being attacked into yep. turn one, they're going to have loads of marbles on their tyres here, and hence running wide, both of them. A little bit of argy-bargy as well great for stuff, good Mama. measure. Well, that's the drama. When you have somebody behind you, you're not free to attack where you want, because if you don't get through, then you leave the door wide open. You're hugely vulnerable. That was a classic case of... Uh, the hunter becoming the hunted. Now, now with the pit stop from the uh, the Alpine, the next pass for Endlauer will put him into the points. That's a, that is tenth position up for grabs right now. So, so here's the moment. So, oh, he did go right over the white line. He's going to have fair. to give that back. All yeah. right, he was forced off, you would say, by Collado. It's an interesting one. Mm. He did take the car right over. We see this quite often in Monza, don't we, on the main straight? So that's another one. Now the stewards are getting busy towards the end of this race. Oh, they've been busy from the beginning. So many technical infringements that there have been penalties for. Ben Barker has been penalised for abusing track limits after warnings. <laughs> and he's the car that would have taken advantage of Danny Junkadella and the drive through. Yep, so Proton Competitions 11. 77 Mustang will have a drive through penalty as well. So honours even or dishonour even perhaps between them and the TF Sport Corvette.